Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in automation with our Let's Play of the Light Campaign V4.0. And this will be probably the very last episode of this Let's Play, which has been going on for, now, what is it, 33 episodes? That's a good number to end on. Well, uh, we still have a few years to play and of course I also need to share with you the ultimate in fuel economy machines that is the Hans mobile and yes we are going to kick off in episode end of episode 32 sounds about right let's get going and this is the current status everything has been released the facelift is done and now the only thing that is left is to wait for now and probably to make another facelift um yes one more facelift as well as waiting for the hans mobile which may be also getting a new facelift okay lots to do then lots to do then so um i think we start off by planning a new facelift one more time so first up the cattler uh, let's throw in a new facelift there, the MK4. And the only thing we need to consider changing would be the um, safeties, the safety stuff. I think that would end. Well, we could add um, the electronic stability control, of course. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if we are waiting for the safety one, then we can equally well do something that's pretty similar in um, in wait time and if we wanted to we can also throw in some sway bars it should be okay I don't cost that much yeah it's fine okay so three upgrades every car is getting that is a, a decent chunk of upgrades I would say uh, I would think some good new stats so uh, let's take that all right, I've just upgraded all of those trims with these three changes. So that should be good. No engine change needed. We do have a large two and a large three. And I think one of them could be upgraded. Um, well, do we really have to? I guess not. Because that is... Now, yeah, you have to consider the following. This is going to take 51 months. <laughs> Uh, not not too great now. Um, so that is a lot of opportunity cost there. Um, and considering the game is ending very soon, that is not a wise decision, because that is a significant portion of the remaining game time. The question is if we want to run on a depreciating major tooling. 86 is getting a little low. I'm not so worried about the building, but seven months is nice. Uh, okay, look at that. This is down to 80 already, so nah, it really needs to be updated. And we can, at that time, also crank up the automation to some uh, proper levels, like 85 or something. Yeah, that is some luxurious settings. 1.2 billion in tooling costs. That takes 19 months. Hmm, ouch. Oh well, uh, I mean, we can leave one like this, because this is certainly good enough still. So, it, one factory is going to die before the other, um, for the retool, and that's fine. We still have this one, it's the smaller of the two, but yeah, it's still... It's slightly less, let's say it's 45% of the production or something. Oh, okay. That's, um, that's some nasty... Nasty changes here. Ouch. Uh, 47 months. Yeah, I'm going to get it down to 60. <laughs> Just increase the pressure. We don't need all the reliability anymore. That's fine. It's fine. Our reputation will be still high enough. So that's that's good. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's hope this works out. Also, at that point, we can equally well just run max shifts free. It's fine. Or target shifts even up there because we 60 months that is uh, five years that is 2017 so we can just run the factories into the ground at that point. Yeah this is all looking good so um, let's go with that. 
Let's do the same thing for the Pompano. I don't think there will be quite as much of a, a trouble here because we don't have a, an eight-seater in, in the lineup with this one. Variable hydraulic. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is somewhat more premium, of course. Uh, also not great for fuel economy, as you see there right there. It's 0.4 liters per 100k. It's quite significant. But it does get way better stats. I'm going to do the same three changes for these. So, uh, nothing fancy here. I guess at this point we can equally well make something proper, proper fancy. Put that into our sedan. And compete with the, the highest up there. Luxury... Uh, it doesn't seem to be working out that well. Yeah, let's, let's keep where we were. That's fine. Premium infotainment. This one doesn't need a major refresh. This is all good looking. That means we can just sign that one off. And we also get this one to 60 months. Eh, some significant costs here in development time for the electronic stability control. Two out of three. Now it's Dolora <laughs> from 94. Oh, we're still running it. Uh, it's working, so why change it? There's no safety packet to upgrade. But I'm also going to add electronic stability control. And for the factories, oh yes, okay, we are still running that on just the medium freeze. Uh, I think with 60 months of time, we might be able to add another medium three, maybe? Hmm, that might be possible indeed, yes. Oh, this does need a refresh. Yeah, it's kind of broken already. Uh, 12 months, though, that hurts. And where do we want to build it? Does it really matter at this point? Mediums don't really cost that much. I think we're going to stick with Fruinia here for this one. And of course that means that we need a name as well. Uh, so let's choose uh, Marena. Medium steel presses. We had 27 right now. We do need... Uh, no, no maintenance because we run down the factory anyway. And QA testing... Mm, do we need anything else? This is a really cheap factory then. If we have 60, we might... Uh, we might be able to go with the large factory then. Let's uh, check that out. That is... Has that updated? 37? Really? Oh, uh, it's still, still medium. Um, 55? Okay, so we can get away with a 55... What would that be? That is 60 exactly. A large two. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do that then. Let's do that. Me likey. Although, mm, we might have to go with that. Uh, unless we leave it at standard settings. Uh, standard settings aren't great here. No, okay. It's a tooling time, doesn't isn't affected there, um, as it's such a small portion of the overall. There it's 61. Okay, that's not too bad. So that is a pretty massive factory. Large two we can get away with. Nice. And why not build just another one like this? It would be nice to have a clone function here as well. But <laughs> uh, no, that's uh, not here yet. Uh, might be something to add though. So. New factory, another large two. We just call it very, very creatively the Marena C L2 2. Uh, yes, because they they do work in tandem. So that QA testing, no reduction, no slowdown stuff. 60 and yes, those cars exactly. Um, and we did go with 67. And standard settings. Yeah, that is pretty much spot on. I did set these for the for the other one as well. And that gets us to 10.2 per dollars per production unit. It's not too bad. Alright, and we need exactly 60... Oh, wrong direction. Uh, exactly 60 months worth of engineering time. There we go. Ah, right, the engine... This one isn't being used anywhere else. So if we add a facelift, 
And mm, do we even want to update this one? Probably not. We just want to add factories and retool factories, right? So um, we can just leave it as is. It's good enough. And we, <laughs> yes, we do need to uh, update this one. And then probably add another, uh, at least another one, if not two large ones. Ah, this one doesn't even have to be updated. It's looking good. Six months. Although, um, I think the other is also shutting down. So that's all good. We can just up this. 13 months. Yeah, it's fine. But now, let's take a look at that. Ouch. Holy shit, yes. We need a lot more engines. So, Froenia Large Factory. Let's see if we get away with a um, large two with QA testing. Yes, okay. Same settings, same everything. That works. Now the question is how this graph looks. Oh, just need this little bit more. Uh, hmm. Do we want to add another factory then? Ah, yeah, why not? Um, let's add a medium three. That takes just 40 months. And here we can really go hard on the automation and tooling quality um, because it's taking way shorter, of course. So I believe this will be pretty good. Cost per production unit is nice and low. And now let's take another look here. Yes, now we are synced up nicely. 60, 60, 60, beautiful. No um, engineering time there whatsoever because we're not doing it. And now I need to consider the engine for uh, for our production. Yes. For the bigger one, this one. I think that needs to be updated as well in the same manner. So let's add a new facelift and tick none of them. And now just make sure that these are updated accordingly. Um... Here we are going for a really quick retool, of course. Uh, this one doesn't need to be updated. Oh, it will have to be. Um, yes, that will be fine. Right, okay. All of them are completely refreshed at this point, which means this will be great. So let's check that off and then um, we are just renewing the minor tooling. And that means that we now could, potentially, add a few factories to the, the car production as well. How about that? Yeah, some 60 monthers. How about adding them in uh, Ahana, back at Lake Mara, up there? Um, so let's go with this one. And large to... Oh, this one might take a little longer, though. Yeah, it does need this one as well, that we are already at 60. And then we don't have a QA testing. So I think we can't do that. Ah, oh, this is 61, that, that sucks. Ah, shit. So we can only add medium freeze with these settings. Yeah, easily though. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, okay, but let's add medium freeze then. That's better than nothing. It can crank out a few, fair few cars. Yeah, and the cost per production unit is nice and low. So yeah, why not? It's fine. All right, there we have added two medium factories. Now the question is, how does it line up with uh, engine production? We're still doing just fine. And what does that mean? It means that we can add a few more. So how about that? Four new medium threes. <laughs> they they come in, in packs of four. Uh, the Ahanans are they, they gave us a bulk deal for the plots, so uh, we we took that offer. Um, and this is looking pretty solid, uh, I think. And yeah, this line is getting a little closer now, but looking good. And I think we just call it done at this point with the facelifts. Uh, let's just double check in the hub if we have everything in here. Uh, it shouldn't affect the Hansmobile. 
because, well, un unless it's uh, being completely rebuilt, uh, one of them, or well, like, there are a few of them here, should be able to, where's the, I think that one medium that was building them, yeah, probably this one or something, uh, or was it in Nanila? Maybe this one. So this one will have a shutdown there, which will affect the Hansmobile. But until then, we probably have more than enough stock. <laughs> because that thing isn't going to sell that well. Uh, yeah, so to bridge the, the gap and stuff. Yes, okay. So that is looking fantastic. And we can sign it off. Sign off screen. How much is this? Totals. 33.6 billion yes 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 that is fancy but I think we don't need anything specific for that because uh, well, we are making plenty of, of money here and that's not I mean 33 billion is quite a bit but that's only half of our company valuation uh, so yeah let's sign it off without taking out a loan Yes, agree. <laughs> All the plots. <laughs> they have subtracted some monies from uh, from us. 700 million in profit per month. Oop, now they've started building the factories. That hurt a little. Oh, wow. Wh which one is this? This is the Cattler. It's crushing. We're building 44,000 cars per month. And we're getting very close to the release of the new Hans Mobile, the final Hans Mobile, or maybe is it is it the final one? No, there, there it is, there it is. Minimum safety regulations update. Uh, yeah, 2020 does have some higher ones there. 40 for Farini, but 2020 is uh, well, it's not relevant, right? So that's fine. Uh, just for for fluff, basically. So, where are we at with this one? Did we actually sell any? Uh, yeah, we did sell 113. And how many how many of the Ultra do we have? We have 115 Ultras. That is more than Dr. Dieter, Hans Dieter Krause can crash. So, despite his, uh, him being basically blind at this point but um, let's not talk about that it's, it's fine he's he, he's doing well he's designing engines when when he's not asleep uh, we disagree of course we don't want to scrap them I just wanted to see if we have enough of them and we sold all of the, our production there so we can stop this one and let it just produce the sparrow because that one seems to be going pretty well Oh, and also this has accomplished our goal, which was to actually sell that a supercar with a two liter uh, that, that achieves two liters per 100k. Was not a, a goal that I set right at the start, but uh, it eh, kind of crystallized further to, towards the end. And it's kind of nice to have. Never built anything like it. So uh, let's open the project and let's get that one checked in and we're not going to replace the ultra that's fine we're not going to touch it uh, we have achieved what we what we were able to that is uh, not going to be any better because the cars are getting heavier and we're not going to revise this engine so that's that I'm also going to upgrade here to semi-active uh, that's just minor update really it's not is it heavier yeah, I mean, it must be a little heavier, but uh, minuscule amounts. So that is fine. It doesn't actually show up as, as heavier. It's maybe so small a difference that we don't even bother having a difference. The changes are not really on the car. It is more in the production of the car, too. So let's take a look at that now. We're not going to produce the Ultra that goes away and look at that uh, three percent efficiency gain yay that's that's perfect and i don't think we need to check on the factory stuff here so uh, yeah two months oh no two months of downtime how are we going to bridge that and we're finally going to steal it from the hans mobile as well <laughs> from 61 that factory is still lingering there 
just waiting for engines to be produced for it. But also the Hans mobile is on pause, so that's, that's another thing. Uh, yeah, that's all good. We are going to produce only the Sparrow MK2. And oof, two yellow flags there. Means we need to change some add-ons. Um, ah, yeah, this one is carbon fiber. I was like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, limited production now. So carbon fiber. It's all good. Uh, QA testing. Yes, please. And this factory isn't running. So why not up update it? Oof, nice. Okay, 15 months. This is going to spit out 323 cars. Engineering, 4.8 months. Oh, no. Uh... We need a little longer. We need 15 months for, for that thing, right? So, yes, we can up the production efficiency a little bit. But the process slider is probably the more important. Okay, look at how much the material cost changes if we waste more or less. Oh, shit, look at that. 39k? 19k, yeah, that's the difference. Uh, let's set it to... Somewhere here makes the car a little cheaper. Reliability, fuck off. But um, 16 months. So, oh, this is ex uh, this is going quick. So let's give it some more funding. And there we are at 15, which was the factory, if I remember rightly. Goldfish memory. Uh, still using the same engine. The Ultra is just engine cost. Uh, okay. Why is the Sparrow doing so well? 246? Really? Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, you have to wait for the engine? Nah, it's using the old one. So that can't be... Oh. No, okay. The, uh, the Ultra does use this one, but we don't want to produce it anyway. But I think what we can do then is to just sign this one off separately. Then that should be fine. Or we just delete the Ultra out of it. Because we already sit on an Ultra. Or 100 of them or something. 115 it was. So this will generally just mean that we are not limited by its engine choice. Or affected by its engine choice. No, supposedly we are... Um, Mm, oh, that's that engine. Okay. Well, that didn't change anything. But also, it didn't harm anything because we weren't going to build Ultras anyway. And now we can actually sign it off. And it's at 15 months, so that's all good. It's not being aligned to any engine stuff. So, we sign off the project. That will be just fine. Just trust in, in our capabilities here. Maybe we are... I should be able to get all the factories right at the start. Factory production at the start. I mean, we have some serious overproduction of those engines going on and there it is the Hansmobil Sparrow Mark 3 has been released and this is the car that we are going to take a closer look at um, and export so the Hansmobil here we are in our uh, in our car museum which isn't really a car museum just yet uh, what why does it say oh yeah MK2. We have forgotten to change that. Uh, we want to view the car, yes. And I do want to save the car. And you're going to find this one in the description of this video. And you go down there. And then what we're going to do is in the comments, as soon as you have um, performed a test ride with this, test drive with this one, and you are going to post a video of yourself driving this around the auto um, automation test track in BeamNG and see which one of you can post the best time. And I want to see the full lap. That will be great fun. Also, if you have a microphone, um, please comment on its driving behavior because wouldn't that be kind of interesting. Also, what I'm going to do is export for you the Ultra. <laughs> because that will be a little special so let's head back and export the ultra as well you will also find it there i'm just going to zip them up and have that file for you there uh that is the hansmobile the ultra 2012 that is the one yes 
Save the car. Oh, please don't crash it because you're going to die. But uh, yeah, that's that's another story. Uh, confirm. So you will find both of them there. Alfredo, Alfredo, Mario, what's what is the matter? Uh, what what is going on? It is it is Han Hans Dieter. Hans Dieter has crashed his ultra into a brick wall. He died. You, wh what? No. Oh, this is terrible news. Uh, what are we? What are we going to do without him? Oh, wait a sec. I, I know. We can finally design engines the way we like. Um, uh, but, but, but Mario. Uh, this why? But this has our company. Look at it. Eighty-one point nine billion. Can't be much better than this. I mean, he did something right, right? That maybe that is the way to go. But, but Alfredo, we need to try. Whew, and there we are. The final facelift is here. Everything is there. And now the only thing... Rem Holy shit, we're selling some cars. The Catalan. 90,000 cars a month. That is beautiful. And now it's the turn of the original company owners who somehow still live after all these years. And they are setting out to uh, try to make uh, Dr. Hans Dieter rotate in his grave at 11,000 RPM. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're probably not going to change anything about the car itself because that is fucking fantastic. 1.33 Gs <laughs> mechanical grip. That's plenty. It will get a little worse because this is going to change. So let's get in here and um, clone a variant. The X, please. So this will be the XR. And I don't think we can change anything here. Let's, uh, we can rev it to 6,400. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Uh, we could probably go for those. That... Uh, 6,700 then yeah that's not much much higher is it um can make it a little bit, bit more sporty for sure but we can't use forge because that just takes too long now we're in, we're almost 2018 we have less than two years uh or we have pretty much exactly two years time so yeah let's keep it simple and vvt all cam yes but cam profile can get upped a fair amount of course, the intercooler needs to be sized slightly larger. And some turbo tweaking is in order as well. Some more boost. So extending up the range to 6,700 RPM. And now we need to do some turbo working. And... Oh. Well, this isn't looking all that great, is it? Um, a little low on octane. Well, we can change that. So here we have the comparison engine. <laughs> Slightly different behavior, isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is the X version I'm comparing to. Well, we do have a problem, and that is the pistons are just shredding themselves because of all that torque. Uh, now we are getting back to somewhere usable. Now that's a slight drop in efficiency from 45 to 21%. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, Hans Dieter is rotating now at 6,700 RPM in his grave at this point. And yeah, we don't quite need that intercooler. How much power are we making with this thing? Oh, 266 horsepower. Yeah, it's decent enough. Especially if we increase it a little and not have the, the engine limited by the intercooler. Uh, we need about that, yes. 311 sounds good to me and uh, is the exhaust large enough yeah can use a bit more all right there we go we can't rev it any higher oh well we can a little bit a little bit there we go a little bit stressed there maybe uh 7500 so that it's on par with the pistons uh, 30 reliability who needs more ah uh, but we are not getting more power there but we are still having decent performance i mean this will be great for shifting so uh, let's take this 
Now the question is how heavy it is now. Uh, yeah, 800 kilos. We even see some wheel spin. Oh, crazy. Uh, 0 to 100, 4 seconds. And let's check it out over the test track. So how quick is this thing? It has no aerodynamics and at 332 kilometers now that would be important. Sounds awesome. And it's really quick. 120 kilometers now before the first corner and a 202. Ooh, that is brutal. Um, yeah, let's try to get this one out. It's still a fuel economy of 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers somehow. <laughs> yeah, because it's so lightweight, I assume. Engineering time 12 months. That's not much. Okay, I think we can. I think we can do this. Uh, don't need anything else there. All the pressure. Get it out. Uh, process not required. Eight months. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to deactivate all of these factories so that they continue producing how they did before. And now I'm going to update this one to only produce... Oh, no, to produce the old one. Yeah, can, can we do that? Can we produce the new one? Yes. Yes, we can. Engineering time, seven months. Okay, that's fine. And... Looks like we're all good. All right, total time, eight months. Let's sign it off. And there we have it. <laughs> the ultimate car that came out in the end. So uh, this one is going to be exported as well. Let's head over there and do that. And now we will be coasting to the end of the game. 1.4 billion per month in profits. Company valuation probably going to top 150 million at that point. And yeah, some good score. Uh, not not nearly close to any best scores, but this is uh, considering we are not making a mass market manufacturer or but a very specific one. That's not too bad a score. And this is how it ends. <laughs> yeah, well well beyond there. Oh, sorry, quality issue. No, a severe one. In in our ultra or <laughs> something. Ah, we do a full recall. Yes, three million. Oh no. Um, there we go. It was on the last month, really. And there we have it. The overview of our campaign. Total cars sold, 14.2 million. And the Laura was basically the, the winner of them all. Um, the Cattler did pretty well after we added massive amounts of factories to it. So, good stuff. I, uh, this was the 6.0 uh, playthrough, of course. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed, and download the cars down below in the description, and post your laps in the, uh, in the comments uh, with a link to your videos. So, going to enjoy watching that, and I hope you enjoyed the whole Let's Play. So, have a good one. Cheers.